Welcome to another episode of Hereford FC here on Vanilla FM and today you're joining me for the uh, fifth season I think, the, the start of the fifth season. We've actually started already, we've played a few matches. So if you'll remember from the previous episode if you watched that, um, we actually were relegated for the first time ever as well. Uh, we've been relegated back to the Van Ramen North League. So this season is going to be just a try to, get, um, to go back up but actually I'm also trying to go for championship as well, so to be the the, the champion of, of this division as well. Um, I will before we get into a match, I'll just take you through the transfers. It was a it was a bit of an interesting year because my aim was to keep the majority majority of the players from last season because there was no need to get better players really, but we ended up having to do some forced transfers as well. Um, yeah, so I'll take you through them. So, in goal, we are still the same. So we still have Charlie Horlock, and we still have Cammy Binning. No changes in goal. Uh, for the right side of the fence, we had to do forced changes. So the first change was that um, Sai Sashdev he wanted to be transferred. He had a transfer request. And the other guy was, I believe, on loan, so he left anyway. Uh, therefore, we got Josh in. He's quite a good player, but he's old, old-ish. Um, so he's only good, probably going to be around only for the season, and then I'll move on next season. And we got um, Marcel Oakley back in it, back again. If you remember him from previous seasons, he was with us before. And then he moved moved away to Ireland, and I suppose he's not really playing that much over there. So he's coming back to us for the season. He's probably one of our weakest positions, the right of defence. So one to watch out for. In the centre of defence, we still have the same uh, Charlie Bra Charlie Oliver, and also we managed to get Carl Banner back this time not alone but um, as a proper transfer that was right at the end of last season so I didn't really show the end of last season um, yeah so we got him right at the end of last season on a, a free transfer so we got him for good and um, yeah we had Angel on the on the first um, first squad and senior squad, but obviously we moved them back down to the under 23s. On the left side of the fence, we have one of our biggest surprises. So we had our youth youth intake um, in April, and part of our youth intake, we had this 15-year-old kid. He's 16 now, but he was 15 not too long ago, and we thought, wow, he he's ready. He's more than ready to play for the first team. So we got on a new um, central, sorry, left um, fullback straight from my youth team, straight from my youth intake. I think he played one match for the youth um, at the end of last season. Well, actually, probably more than that, to be fair. Um, he played one match for us at the end, just as a trial, just to see how he did. He played four com non competitive matches for the youth. And he's now played pretty much all of our matches now uh, this season. Whoops, sorry, that went blank. Um, the other the other player in the left of defence is still from last year, so Lenny is still with us. Uh, obviously, we sold Michael Kelly, not for much. I think only one k. Uh, and I didn't speak about the other side of the fence, but that's because there were no changes. So we still have Luke and we still have Cam, so no changes there. Uh, for the centre defensive midfielder, we had a couple of players leave. Uh, so we, again, we got two very young players for that position. We got uh, Riley, Jonathan Riley from Oxford City, on a on a um, cheap transfer, and we also got oh, this guy isn't young. I thought he was young, but anyway, he's on loan um, from somewhere in Scotland. We have a lot of Scottish players again this season. Yeah, so Hayden Lindley, who played for this position before, 
he was released um, it was sold at a, at a release clause for about 90,000 so he he's gone he's we made quite a, a bit of profit from him and Adam Barton is retired so that's why he's left that's why we have two new players for this position then here we had a similar issue we had a, one guy on loan who left and another guy who wanted to leave um, as he wanted to leave so he left and we ended up having to get two new players for this position Ian James is sort of the backup he's in the squad at the moment but because he played in the last game but yeah Ian James uh, on loan from Port Vale and our main player for that position at the moment is actually Joshua Loera, American kid 18 years old from Oxford on loan from Oxford so we don't have any permanent players for this position just a couple of loans in the right side of attack no changes we still have uh, Dal and Kaja on the left side of attack though we had to make changes because Dan just left all of a sudden we didn't even sell him and Ruben uh, we sold because he was so bad so we just sold him for, again I think it was a free transfer in the end uh, but yeah he was really bad so we got this guy Erieter Gatambie from Congo and he's doing really well actually uh, he's on loan from he's on oh well, actually he's a free transfer I thought he was online free transfer from Tottenham so far eight appearances four goals two assists two player of the match um, over seven uh, average rating great stuff from him he's on a non-contract so we might want to give him a proper contract at some point soon and Cami Ross a Scottish guy more experienced and he's come on a transfer from Brackin. I don't know how if that's how you pronounce it, but anyway, he scored one goal so far. He also doubles doubles back as a striker, which is useful sometimes because one of our strikers is an international uh, is is an international player. So um, he, our, our schedule is quite tight, and he's already gone on an international duty. So it's been quite useful to have Ross about. Uh, speaking about strikers, let's talk about the strikers next. Why not? We have one new striker. His name is Naki Wells from Bermuda. And he's great. He's experienced. He's a bit old, but um, he's been scoring them, which is great to see. So he's on a free transfer. Yeah, and I'm presuming he'll be with us until he retires, which is great. And only one change in the attacking midfielder position. We got Thomas Hughes back on the main squad. He was in the under 23s last year and the year before, but he's back on the main squad now. Right, let's get into a match. Um, we have a few changes to make because we just played a match uh, just before this for the championship. Actually, the championship is going well. So we started off badly with loss and we have pretty much all wins since then which is great to see, so it's standing at the top of the table. We're going to try and aim for first position, but we'll see. I mean, it would be kind of the cherry on top of the cake when um, we were re relegated, so we might as well do this league again and, and, and get the championship. So we have to play Horlock because he's complaining he doesn't have enough time. We're going to play Marcel this time around. Uh, I think I'm happy with Charlie. Charlie's been pretty consistent, so that's fine. Luke Noble. These guys haven't managed to form a relationship yet, but hopefully they will soon. Tabat, a young player. Um, between him and him. Okay. We can rest Tabat maybe for her. This guy, the reason I've done that is because this guy has just been complaining that he doesn't have enough time. Somewhere down here. right now but yeah he's been complaining that he doesn't have enough time and they're both equally as good so might as well give this guy some minutes um, happy with you Ian James nope definitely gonna play aware for this one let's rest Kasha for one match oh, we need to give this guy some minutes um yeah happy with that and happy with the wells okay good stuff 
We've got all the positions covered on the bench. And we're gonna stick Kaja and we might stick a goalkeeper. Horlock hasn't been doing well, but since we're playing we're not playing a very hard team, we're just playing an FA Cup. Yeah, second qualifying round, so it's it's not a hard match, so I, I wouldn't I wouldn't assume the Horlock's gonna have a hard time with that. So we're gonna stick just another defender on there for good measure. And we're gonna go for it. I'm not I didn't set up opposition instructions, but hopefully that's okay. Yeah, so it's this season is more of a let's build a club. Um, our youth is doing well for the in in their league for the past couple of seasons. They finished third the, two seasons ago and second last season. We had a really really good intake this season, so I'm hoping that we'll be able to go for champions of the league this season. But again, it's not essential. It's just it's a nice to have, I suppose. Um, yeah, as far as the senior squad, obviously we're trying to go for champion, get some get some trophies. That'd be nice. Oh no, this is supposed to be an easy easy game. This isn't supposed to happen. <laughs> but it's okay. I'm sure we can come back from that. Also, this season, I'm not changing instructions every match or at all, really. Um, I kind of just leave it. Set up the way that I want to play and I'll leave it. I, I could actually show you this now. Let's just work through this highlight first, just in case something happens. Nope, nothing happens. Okay, so let's have a look at the tactics we've been playing consistently with. We have been playing uh, the usual, like this is the old school way that we used to play. So play through the flanks, out of the fence, through, through, through the flanks. We're working the ball into the box, so n none of these early crosses are shooting on sight or anything like that. We're being a li more, little bit more expressive, so each player can bring their own flavour to it, with shorter passing than usual. Um, this should be seen to the whole of the defence, not just the centre-backs, so that's different from before. And I may them use the offside trap and the fending slightly lower down than they were before. They, were, they had a high line. So I made them come down and not using tight marking. So those are the changes that we put and we always play with the same instructions. Um, every now and then I switch between balance and positive, just depending on what type of match we're playing, but that's about it. Now the reason I really don't want to lose an FA Cup is it's not because it's the board is going to think it's anything bad. It's because of the revenue, both the prize revenue and also the attendance revenue that we get from it. So the further we go, the more of this sort of revenue we get. And actually we could do with it because we need to develop the club. We need to desperately go professional so we can get some de decent training. The th issue is with getting these players is that it's well and good getting them but they can't develop because there's no training between matches. Especially when we have a busy calendar. There's no way to train. I'm not sure if players they probably improve with with improved skills with um, game time itself but I don't know. It feels a bit weird not to have training really in between any of the matches. I'm gonna stick in this guy. Oakley's not doing well. He wanted some playing time. Actually, not him. His manager from his loanee club. Ooh. Is Dahl injured? Struggling to run off. Okay, no problem. Got Kaja to hand. Oh, 
Harlock's not doing too well. Horlock's been asking for more playing time, but I think in my mind, we played with him a lot last season and we got relegated. I kind of want to give Cammy the season, to be fair. And I think it's time for our last sub. do that. We'll try and play a match for the league as well. So this is an FA Cup match. We'll go ahead and play a match for the league as well. I'm not sure how many days apart they are. We might have to do some rotation of the squad because at the moment the crown there is really heavy. We're gonna have to repeat this match. I'm not sure if it is before or after the league, the league game. Oh, it is. It is next. Okay, so we're gonna see this through. We're gonna see this um, qualifying round through. We're gonna play at home next. Now, obviously, we had a very good occasion at the start of the. Or at the end of this of the previous season, obviously with the, f the forced changes that we had to make, um, we lost that. Okay, if we get through, we are going to play with Derham. Never heard of them. Oh, they're a non-league club. Okay. Here we go again. Round two with McClover. Is that how you say that? How do you how do you read it? McClover. Yeah. Surely that's how you say it. Okay. Opposition instructions. Right. Uh, you're playing quite badly, but see how long do we need to give him? Because I could waste it on the 52 days. Okay. Um, with the. Um, no. Okay. Back to Luke. This guy's doing fine. Um, leave Oakley on for a minute. Uh, leave this guy on. Need to rest this guy, and we need to rest Dal, and we need to rest Hugh, Hughes, and we need to rest. Oh, actually, no, we don't. We don't leave you on as well. Um, right, so let's go through the bench. We got defensive positions covered and midfield, and attacking positions covered. You are versatile. Um, and then here we got some options, extra players we could have. And get you out. And get Lord in. Right, let's go. Round two. So yeah, we've got a fair few amount of... We, we have a fair few young players, so 
two 16 year olds, two 18 year olds, and like a handful of players between the ages of 22 and 20. So quite a lot of players of young. We have two players over 30. Wells is one of them who just scored now. He's 35. And the goalkeeper, Horlock, is also 30. He's just turned 30, so everyone else is in their 20s. So quite a young squad. Not as young as last season, I don't think, but still pretty young. Now for the first, I had to look at the team comparison. Um, and I think for the first time since we started the save, we have quite good physicals all around. So we're not lagging behind in physical players. Oh wow, that was, that was original. Let's have a look at that again. What happened there? Wells over to the left. This guy cuts the ball. This guy does a weird pass. He fell over. He fell over or was fouled. I don't know. The referee didn't say anything. But one of the two. Okay, Wells with two goals. I can say that Wells is doing well. Even though that's cheesy. Can you go for a third? Kaja? Okay, Kaja went for this one. Kaja and Dal, so the two right forwards, they've been with us, I want to say from the beginning, but, I, you know, at least for three or four seasons. Okay, looks like playing at home really helped us out. We do have quite a small pitch as well, which might go in our favor. Because other teams won't be used to playing in such a cramped space. But we are. Let's go ahead. I think this is their first highlight, I'm not sure. Is it a yellow card? Oh, potentially a red card. Oh, yeah. Red card. Not worth it, man. It's not worth it. Come on. That red card totally was not worth it. That foul was, as a whole wasn't worth it. Don't know why I did that. I know, like, I could probably change the mentality to balanced or whatever, or cautious, but yeah, just like to keep going. More goals, please, if we can. Oh. There we go one Heretier with his first goal for the cup well of course it will be for the cup it's the first round but I think the first goal for this I can't remember actually if he scored before he might have scored before for the league I, I, I wasn't paying attention to the to the lower third there with that. right okay um Okay, simples, like for like, this for this, this for this, and now... Um, just because I want to leave the guys that are doing well on, just as a bit of a reward for seeing the game out and doing well. 
I could have rested them as well, but to be fair, our squad is so good that I don't really need to worry about resting them this year. There are a couple of positions that aren't as good, but second goal for the <laughs> I missed the lower third again. The second goal of the game for Heretier. Oakley managed to be part of it before he left. Kaja. Um, nah, might review it. Let's review that. So let's see. Might review it. Yeah, I'm still going to go for the same players. Okay. Might as well just have done it. Oh, wait, did I put the wrong player in? Mm, potentially. Yeah, but that's fine. Okay. for a hat trick or Kaja gonna go for a second one here it's here with a 10 out of 10 well done he's got two goals two assists one goal one assist for Kaja two goals for Wells an assist for Olivier okay that's all we have time for today so yeah we we are having fun this season, and I'm not sure how many episodes I'll do, probably just two, uh, just because we're doing the same league again. But if it ends up being interesting with going for championship and all that, then I might come back halfway through again. Okay, so thanks so much for sticking around to the end, and um, yeah, make sure you check out Patreon as well, and check out the Christmas series that I did of all kinds of different games as well, that I played just for a laugh, uh, for, uh, you know, half an hour or so. Thanks so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.